Namasi, hey, 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 hey. huh? You need to hold your temper to ground. Huh? This action of yours is getting out of hand. Ah! Leave me alone! Ah! Leave me alone! She's a cursed child! She will no longer live here with us! Ah! She's leaving this house! Enough is enough! Enough is enough! She will no longer. Why do you need to be just in this hey, house? Hey, 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 Lamassi, no, Lamassi. Yeah, not yeah. anymore. It's enough, it's enough. Hey, huh? No child of mine, no child of mine. We can't shut my dream. Not anymore, not anymore. She has to go. She's look at you, look at you, look at you. Hey. Evil child, evil child. Vasha Yashi, evil enough. child. No child of mine. We can't shut my dream. Not anymore, not anymore. And now I go. And now leave my house. Let's have hey. my house. I was at your place. And upon my arrival, I saw your things scattered all over. I just knew it was your mama, right? Yes. 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 Why? Why is my mama treating me like this? What did I do? Nasiche, my friend. You know it is our people's belief that when a woman has an only child and becomes unable to take him for another, they say that the child is a cursed child, that he or she closed the womb of the mother by preventing other children from coming. <laughs> but you and I know that it is not true. Am I God? I, I am not God. I know. But people tend to hold strongly their beliefs, and neither of us can change it. I say this to you, my friend. Turn heart from pain. Let us look onto a promising future. A beautiful future of love and happiness, entangled with lovebirds. Lovebirds. Abu, what are you talking about? You are confusing me. Akiki is back. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it right now, Abu. It's not funny. You don't believe me. You are joking. Abu, you are serious. Where is he now? Where else would he be? <laughs> Where would you wait for me? You know I cannot run like you. Can my tongue go and see? I 
Ricky. Nina kupenda ni My friend, you expect me to be happy. I think I should clap for you. You came to town, you did not tell me, you tell my friend. I only wanted to surprise you, okay? It's not like I told your friend. She only saw me coming down upon arrival from the Gongoro. I know I should have called you, but my phone battery is dead. Please, I'm very sorry, my love. It's okay, I believe you. The most important thing is that you are here now with me. I miss you. I miss you too, my love. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Me love. What what is it? Why the sudden change in continents? It's nothing. Um, everything is okay. It's nothing. Oh please. Let's not play under the ring like kids. Give voice to thought. What is it? I am ready for marriage now, Lakiki. Good news. Yet accompanied with so much sadness. Why the sudden change in mind? It's over two years I proposed marriage to you. You said no. Even though your reason did not hold water, still I let the stream flow. I told you introduce me as your lover to your baba. You said no. What is going on? Talk to me. I have to leave the house for my mama. Why? Her hatred for me scares my heart. Akiki, marry me, please. Now. Fed me, ah, and I'm fed up. <laughs> ah. I hope you enjoyed the food, my ah, brother. Baba, it appears that the older you become, the more sweeter your food. <laughs> ah. Kiki, you have your ways <laughs> with words. Baba, you know me. <laughs> if it's not sweet, I will tell you. But you're a good cook. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank ah. you. I've had you. So, how is business in Nakuku? Ah, uh, Baba, with the current rise in inflation, I mean, everything going up, doing business is becoming very difficult in Akuku. But, Kahuna and Kulunkulu. I don't blame them. Everyone does whatever they like once they get into power. Forgetting that the poor man will survive. Mm. This is not fair. But what do we do? It's not fair. Um, Baba, I want to discuss something with you. I'm listening. Nasiche was here today upon my arrival. She said she's not ready to get married. Uh -huh. You remember I proposed to her two years ago, but she refused. I remember. Uh, uh, and she is now ready. Is there any problem with that? Or don't you want her anymore? Baba. Now, see, she's my life. I, I love her so much. I cannot live without her. But I do not think she's ready for marriage. Why do you say that? 
Was she not the one who brought up the matter? She was, Baba. But I do not know what to make of the fact that the only reason why she's getting married to me is because she wants to run away from her mama. Not because, not because she loves me. What am I even saying? Baba, those were her words. Namazi's hatred for her daughter. It's not new to anyone in our community. I understand her plight. But then, there have been women who have suffered the same fate. But they never reacted this way. The child is scared. And she needs your help this time. But as regards in love, my boy, you follow your mind. My boy. Nehu Baba. Ah, and yet sadness wears you like a mask. Huh? I've always pleaded with you to forgive your mama. No matter what she does to you. Baba, huh? I do not want to speak about this again. As a child, Mama have always told me I'm a cursed child. The one that shot her mother's womb is what other children mm. call me. I grew up a very lonely child, and you know it, Baba. Yes, my child. I will bring a man to see you tomorrow. A man? Yes. To what end? Marriage. Marriage? Yes, marriage. And I need your blessings. I know this will make Mama happy. Huh. I will have to go and have my sleep now. Go and have your sleep. Marriage. Welcome, Baba. Hmm. Asante, I'm sorry. The meeting did not end on time today. Uh, so, uh, 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 by the way, where's your mama? Did she come out to welcome your guest? Okay, okay. Uh, Baba, Baba, there will uh, be no need. Please sit down, sit down. Baba, there Just will be one no... minute. Baba, there will be no need. Mm -mm, give me a minute. One minute. Eh? One minute. Relax yourself. It should be fine. You don't know my mama. You don't know her. Amazi! Ah. Amazi! Why are you doing this now? When we have a guest? Mm -hmm. huh? I thought we talked about it, that Nasiche will be bringing a man home to introduce to us. Why? Are you blind? Can't you see that I am doing something? A uh, few minutes of your time will not spoil anything. Huh? What is wrong with you? Huh? Is it that you don't think? Oh, uh, you, you don't have emotion at all. Do not raise uh, your voice at me, Kekara. Do not try it. Am I under any obligation to see her guest? Are you not her father? What are you doing here? Please, I do not need to put my finger under my anus and smell it to know if it is smelling or not. Because it is always going to smell. So let me be.
So my friend, what date did you pick for the wedding? Because I need to prepare myself. Oh yes. I need to look good. It's my friend's wedding. <laughs> well, we chose the last day of Oguluku festival for the ceremony. Ogukulu? Wait a minute. That is just a few weeks from, from, from now. Why? Oh, okay. Even though I know the reason, but that is the last day of the, uh, of the festival that everybody likes to attend, including myself. So I do not understand. Don't you want people to attend your wedding? That is not the point. Abo, this is not like a big ceremony, okay? Moreover, I don't have the time to waste. I need to leave that house immediately, and you know it. I know. My only problem is that the wedding is crashing with, with the festival. Otherwise, if you say it's tomorrow, you know I will stand by you. You know it. I thought to you, you said you were going to rest your head. What happened? Baba, thoughts weighs upon hearts. I do not know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Yes, I love Nasiche. And yes, I want to get married. I should be happy, but I feel a little bit unease. Baba, you would not believe that she had already picked the date even before we saw her parents. Huh? I was so shocked when her Baba was asking, when are we looking at? And she said, during the festival. It is too close. She doesn't even know if I have money. If I'm ready or not. I only plan staying for a while. I'm not to get married in the process. So why didn't you discuss that with her? Huh? Telling her how you feel. I know that she has suffered so much in the hands of her mama. Uh, that I know. Huh? But waiting for a few months will not be too much to have so far. Baba, I tried bringing up the matter when she was seeing me off. But she had already started talking about attire for the ceremony. Ah. And she's so happy. Baba, I do not know. Am I being, am I being selfish here? Am I not being considerate? I do not know what to do. What are you trying to prepare for us this night? Ah, yeah? okay, are you not so right? I put uh, your bathing water on eh, the fire. Eh, don't ask me for anything this night. Of course. No, don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. You, Baba. Njani. Ah, Nasiche, come back here. Will you not say a word of greeting to your mama? Baba, why are you doing this? When was the last time I greeted mama in this house that she answered me? And you just want to make it to look as... That's enough. Huh? Keep your greetings to yourself. What is it that you are carrying, by the way? Baba, what is all of this now? What is, why did you call me? Do not call your Baba. Your Baba told me that you and your friend has picked up the Okukulu festival day for your ceremony. Is it true? Yes, we did. Well, that day is not acceptable to us, your parents. Especially me. What? Baba, but you accepted and said it was okay. Uh, yes, don't remind me of what I said, Nasiche. Uh, I was able to convince your mama. 
I make her see reasons we need to be united as a one family. Have I not suffered enough in this house? Have I not? Now I want to get married, you suddenly want a united family. As if any of this was my doing. You know what? I don't even have time for all of this. I have picked a date and that is final. Excuse me, Baba. Eh, Nasichi, don't take one step further. What has gotten into you? Come back here. My husband, please sit down. Sit down, it's okay. What is wrong with this uh, uh, child? Huh? You want to walk out on your father? It's, How can you? It's all right. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. It's all right, my husband. Nasichi. Anything worth doing is worth doing very well. Mm -hmm. Nobody is stopping you from getting married. Nobody. But you have to shift the date so that I and your Baba can plan. Mm -hmm. The festival is already upon us. Mm. We need time to plan. It is not as if we are inviting the whole village. But we have to plan. All I am asking you is to shift it further. Let us do it on the day of the Zokuku. Uh, I think that one is okay by me. Yes. Uh, because I need some time uh, to inform my kinsmen so that they can prepare for the ceremony. Uh. Is that all right, my daughter? Nasichi, my child, uh, you will get married. <laughs> uh? You will. <laughs> Help me! Somebody help me! Help me! Help! 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 Somebody! Help! Somebody! Somebody! Help me! Somebody! Help me! Help me! Don't kill me, please. Ah, oh. hey. don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Ah, oh. please. Ah, oh. don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Help me. Help me. What's flee my tongue, my friend? For I cannot put sense to this matter. But if you ask me, I will say you should leave birds to sky. Let us focus on the event to come. For joyous moment awaits you. This dream puts flight to joyous moment, my dear friend. I don't know what meaning to give to it. Because my heart can no longer focus on anything. Not until I get the meaning of what I saw. What I know I saw in this dream. Which has to be... Okay, it's okay. You know you can be very dramatic when you want to be. Oh, Abu, my friend. This is not about drama. Don't you understand? This is reality. Reality, I know what I saw. Okay, okay, eyes. okay, okay. Now tell me. How many of your good dream has come through? Reflect your mind back to when you told me that you won 100,000 kurumbis in that game. What happened in the end? I did not even think. <laughs> exactly. Oh. You, you were the worst participant ever. <laughs> ah, oh, my dear friend, I love you so much. You give light to heavy hearts. Thank you so much. Asante, my dear friend. You are welcome. Just imagine, just when your mama is trying to make peace with you, and then comes this awful dream. Look at 
You need to see the way my mama was so calm yesterday night. She was speaking calmly to me. I said, ah, is this my mama? And you know, I think I have to hit her advice that says I should go for that date. You know, right? You see? It is a good sign, my friend. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> my good friend. Aha, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. how is um, your, your lover? Ka, ka, ka what now? Kabia, that monkey that is still jumping from tree to tree. Let us be going. The lover is now a monkey. <laughs> my friend, my friend has a monkey. <laughs> What is going on? Ah, Kiki, there is no problem. No problem at all. I just saw you making a call. Who were you with on the phone that got you so offended? Zimba called me last night and... Uh, Papa, I thought we had an agreement that you would not pick his call again whenever he calls. Not after what he did to you the other time. You promised me. Yes, I promised. But when I refused to pick his call, I received a test from him that he will kill himself if, if you do not send him money. Yes. Ha. And you sent him the money? Uh, that is where I went to so early. Ha. Baba, Baba, how can you fall for such a tactics? How can you fall for this? I, I don't understand. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't want, know what to do again. Okay. How much? How much did he ask for this time? Akiki, just forget about it. Baba, I said how much? Two hundred and fifty kurumbis. Ah! Two hundred and fifty kurumbis, Baba. Ha! How were you able to send him that amount of money when you and I know you don't have that in this house? How did you get the money? Baba, I said, how did you... Wait. Baba, do not tell me that you took money from my business money and sent to him. Go. Uh, Kiki, he's my only son. Oh, don't you understand? That came out very well. I almost forgot I'm not your child. Only child. I can't believe this. But you forgot I'm an only child when I decided to come take care of you against my Baba's wish. Akiki, please don't take words to heart. You know my heart towards you. And then you took my business money and gave to your son. You 
is fine. It is fine. Oh, welcome, Mama. Asante, my children. Abo, Mama. Njani. Yeah, I feel like Mama. Uh, mm. Mama, I'm just about to see Abo off. I'll be back soon. Eh. Yes, Mama. Eh, Nasichi, yes, I need to talk to you. Abo, Mama. Please, you have to excuse your friend. No problem. I want us to talk. No problem, Mama. Okay. I will Remember, see you later. Still have yeah, I will see you later. I need to hurry. I need to cook for Baba before he comes back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Bye, -bye Mama. You want to talk to Nasiche? Come. Wait. Let us talk. Sit. Sit down. Nasiche, what is it that troubles you? I am surprised. Actually, I am worried by your sudden change of attitude towards me. <laughs> Nasiche, my daughter. You know, marriage is a beautiful thing. I remember when I was going to marry your father. I was so happy. I danced and danced for all to see. And uh, talking about dancing, I hope you have been practicing your moves. Moves? What moves? I don't understand. Do I need to have moves? <laughs> ah. Mama, I don't, I don't want to dance, please. Nasiche, you have to learn the dance of our people. Come, let me show Mama, you. Mama, leave me alone. I might be old now, but I think I still have the moves. Get up, let me show you. Come, let me show you some dancing moves. Get up. You see? Watch me. You bend like this. Then, your buttocks, you shoot it out. You go like this. You go like this. <laughs> well, you Okay, wait. Yeah. I'm supposed to do this then? Yes. I sit and go down. I my bones. Bound like this. Okay. You go like this. Okay. I am getting old. You know. <laughs> you don't know what just happened. Akiki, what troubles you? You love. What bothers me? Yes. I came as soon as I got your call. What is wrong? Everything. Everything is wrong. Aye. Selfish people everywhere. Uh -huh. All you think about is yourself. Look at you. Me, I can't. Getting married to me just because you want to use me. Using me as an escape route to run away from your mama, not because you truly love me. Stop it, Aki. Do not call my name. <laughs> and then he took all I had and gave it to his son. Is that fair? I love him, that is why I am here, taking care of him. But he will always choose his son Zimba over me. Is it fair? Is it fair what he has done to me? Why has he done this to me? He gave everything to him. My Baba has always hated my Mama's people, especially her twin brother. I've asked my Mama severally why, but she will not answer me. So I stopped asking. When my uncle lost his daughter, shortly after his wife followed, the pain and grief almost killed him. My Mama offered to go help, but my Baba refused her from going. I could clearly see the pain and frustration in my mama's eyes, and it broke my heart because he was my favorite uncle. 
despite the hatred my Baba had for him, he will always find a way to buy me a gift on my birthday. <sighs> One day we heard that his son Zimba and his friend came home and they beat him up just because he refused to give them money. That moment I just knew I had to make a decision for my mama's sake. And that was how I came here against my Baba's wish. When I lost my, lost my parents in a car crash, I wish I can see my Baba and my Mama, especially my Baba, and just tell him I'm sorry for what I have done. Well, after the Iberia, I just told myself there was no need going back home because my uncle was lonely and he needed my help. And his son was not around, so I stayed. And ever since then, I have done all I can to ensure I make him happy. But foolish me, he will always choose his son over me. Today, he took part of my business money and gave it to him. Is it fair? It is not fair. Pull me up, please. Nina Kupenda, and I have always loved you. From the very first day I saw you carrying those firewoods on your head. Oh, please, that is a long time ago. I will not deny the fact that I asked you to marry me. Because I wanted to leave my mama's house. And even now that her attitude has changed towards me, I still want to marry you. You're a good man, Akiki. And this marriage has indeed brought blessings to my family because it is changing my family for good. My mother says she will teach me a separata dance. She wants me to dance on our wedding day. She said that to you? She did. Oh yes. my good. She said she wanted me to dance and she showed me the dance there. Come, Good. sit, let me show you. Oh my god. Let me show you the dance. You will like it. <laughs> let me see. You still like this. Hey! <laughs> Are you serious? Show me, show me, show me. Akiki, please, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. Please forgive me. Baba, it is okay. I do not blame you for it. I understand why you did what you did, so it is fine. No, no, no. No, no, you don't understand. Uh, when my wife and daughter died, leaving me with Zimba, huh? I had no other way to grieve for her loss other than to pour my anger and frustration on my son. I would often beat him, starve him for days, reason I do not know. For my son to survive, one day I beat him nearly to die. He has to run away from the house and never returned. <sighs> hmm. Papa. I'm very surprised, but I thought he abandoned you. Uh, no, no, I, I just said that to you in order to cover my shame. I went in search of him. For days, days became months. Months became years. Finally, I found him. I pleaded for him to come home, but he has found a new family, a family of bandits. <sighs> it's all my fault. I wasn't there for him as a father when he needed me. 
I failed his mother. Ah, I am not. I am not a good man. Baba, <sighs> Baba, mm. it is okay. Okay, it is okay. I now understand why you give him money. See, recompense is a very honorable thing. Put yourself together. It will be fine. Hmm? It is okay. Right. It's getting late. Let us go inside. And I hope and I hope you cook because I'm very hungry. Oh yes, we have had our stomachs feed like the belly of the ocean. <laughs> and now we are the residents of Kaikara, where the final rites of this ceremony shall be performed. <laughs> and I want to believe our mm. son, Akiki, mm. is ready. Yes. He is a strong man. And I know Baba, make us proud. what is he talking about? For a piece of our ready for what? For a what do you mean, what is he talking about? Huh? If he must take home, Don't disappoint me. A culture Never you disappoint me. Down for one what is going on with that Kiki? It's not himself. I do not know. Oh, praise the gods. Mm. Oh, praise the gods. Without wasting much time, Namazi, step forward. Akiki. Is it like he's not a man? <laughs> How would you say that? Can we have the Nguku? Now, both of you shall drink from the Nguku. After then, Akiki, you will take your mother-in-law in there so she can confirm your manhood. What? And if you hit like a rock, only then can she teach her daughter how to satisfy you. For it is known that when a man can hit like a rock, then and only then can she truly own his wife. Yes. And she will stick to him forever. Give my love. Uh, Baba, what is going on? What do you mean, what is going on? Are you telling me that you don't know the culture of your mother's people? How can sleeping with my, my wife's mother be a culture? Keep down your voice. Huh? It's a thing of pride. Please. Everyone does it. Please, can we continue with the ceremony? Uh, go ahead, continue. Akiki, please. Both of you will drink of this cup. After then, you proceed. So shall yes. we. Akiki! 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 No. You know you cannot go until after the rites. You cannot go with him. Hey! Unkulunkulu! Embarrassment all my life. Such humiliation. 
Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? What if, what if he did not grow up in this village, Abu? Is his mother not from this place? Anyway, I don't blame him at all. What good can actually come out from a cast child? Vasha Yashi. Hey! Unkulu, unkulu. Why? Baba, how can such a culture exist in this time and age that a man must live with his wife's mother just so she can validate his manhood? For what? Akiki, you really baffle me. Eh? I guess you also do not know that if a girl loses her virginity before getting married, the people will burn her alive. Or she is banished to a never return home. You look baffled, my son. Akiki, not knowing the culture of the people you live among, is as deadly as a prey walking amongst wolves. This is over 11 years you have been living here with me. Baba, you make it sound like I've lived my life all along here with you. Have you forgotten that I was not here when I was learning my trade? Or have you also forgotten that I do not do my business here, I only come back occasionally? What time then do I have to, to learn the people's ways of life? Was, was far from, the, from mild, eh? like that of a toddler. For the, for your reason has been blown off by ways. Akiki, let me also tell you that you are standing on the land of your mother. The very land your father stood upon the day he slept with my mama. When he came seeking the hand of your mother in marriage. Akiki, you have always wanted to know why your father hated my people. Well, fix your eyes on reality, for it stars at you, leaving you with a choice. For we, the people of Bankaku, we are proud and we are nothing without our culture. What are you doing here, Abo? And what do you think? Look, whatever you want to say, I am not interested. Please leave. You are a coward. Excuse you. How dare you call me that? If cowardice was a person, he is standing right in front of me. Do you even?
even pictured what will happen to the woman that you claim to love when you want her leaving her to face the shame all by herself. Look, Abo. I, I cannot sleep with Namazi. I can't even bring myself to think of it. You know I love Nasiche, but I cannot sleep with her mama just so she can validate my manhood. I would not do it. It is our culture, Akiki. <laughs> the only man that I truly loved and hoped that would be my forever. He left the moment I told him about our people's culture. I met him at Zimfa when I went visiting my aunt. But he left without looking back. For so many years, I blamed him for leaving. Not until I realized that even the young men of our community were no longer interested in us. Instead, they would go out there and find the girl and marry her instead of raising their voice about this matter. So they would not face the, the wrath of Zankunja in Miami. They are the extremists of our culture. They belong to a particular clan. And they have the right to do whatsoever they please to offenders if found guilty. In most cases, they can even burn the offenders alive. Just like a woman that loses her virginity before marriage. The only reason they have not come for you is because of your paternal heritage. What do I do, Abu? I love Nasiche. I did not even ask how she is doing. Baba was right. How can I live among these people all these years and I do not even know their culture? Oh, my beautiful Nasiche. What have I done? Bets derive strength from flying. The fish in the ocean derive strength from swimming. We, the people of Bangkok, derive strength from our culture. It is never too late for a man to come for his bride. Akiki, you will go in there and do everything you can to ensure you are worthy of our daughter, Nasichi. 
For the only way a man keeps his wife is if and only if he can satisfy her. And that you must do to Namazi. Otherwise, we will not give you our daughter if she finds you a weak man. Now, you drink from the cup of Ungoku. Namazi, lead him here. Receive your wife. <laughs> uh, behold your wife. <laughs> behold your wife. How long do you intend to keep me a virgin, Akiki? I'm asking you, how long? You barely even look at me. Is this why you married me? Why did you marry me? And in turn became cruel to me? Why, me love? Me love, I love you. Akiki! Akiki! This is the money. Ah, the booger. 
this one you are giving me the money, has it worked? By next week, I will be sure. You better let me know when it works. Hmm? Uh, on a second thought, Namaz, are you sure this is what you really want to do? Kitu Kokuma, Mbiaye. When a lion begins to doubt his strength, it becomes prey. Zoya, my friend, put your mind to rest. Ngiyaya. Papa. Are you still here? You have not gone to fetch the firewood I asked you to fetch since. You are just going. What were you doing? Um, I, I was... Uh... You was doing what? Will you get out of this place and hurry up? Come back quick! Stupid boy! You better hurry up! I do not know what to tell you, my friend. But I guess what he needs is time. Why? Why does he need time? Is he the first person to undergo it? Did his father not undergo it? Why am I being punished? Do not talk like that, my friend. You have to be grateful. Else you remind me of my pain of being abandoned by the man that I truly loved. It's okay. Please be patient. And I'll allow him to deal with whatsoever he's dealing with. Okay? Now take. Take what? Did you get mine? You want me to eat this one that's gone half <laughs> Let me go and get what my mama sent me. I will see you later. You and should. if God's will it, I will break words with Akiki on your behalf. Okay? Put peace to troubled hearts. Let me go. Can I walk you? Okay, let us go. You say you don't want. Hmm? <laughs> when did you buy my... Look at how you are rushing the food. After some people will say I am not a good wife. Hmm? My love. I am sorry. Hmm? You know, I left you at home. So, I assume you have eaten. Hmm. No vex, huh? I am not vexing, mm -hmm. but uh, make sure you eat well, because you have to come back to the work that you left in the morning. For what? Kaka, ka, ka. huh? Is that why you loaded this plantain for me like this? Hmm. If then, I will stop eating. Uh huh. I don't know what has gotten into you. Mm. Hmm? For the past two weeks now, you have been asking for this thing every day, and I have been giving you. Now, you are telling me to finish eating and come and continue from the place I stopped. Ah, uh, remember. I'm no more a younger man. Kaikara, are you seriously complaining? Are you? Mm -hmm. Why won't I complain? You want to kill me? I will not kill you, Kaikara. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you are my husband. Uh, my love. You have to do your job. <laughs> yes, my love. Um, I love you, but I cannot walk again. I cannot continue. Kaikara, mm? my husband. Mm? <laughs> ah. 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 Zalute. Doctor, Zalute. Do you even look at yourself in the mirror? What need is a man of a mirror? 
when he can clearly see himself from the eyes of the one he loves. <laughs> you see yourself in my, in my eyes? Yes. Then let the gods take sight from me, than for your reflection to fall on them. Salute. Now let me re echo it to you. The sight of you looks like a poop that falls from us. Hi. And like we all know, all poop smells. So the next time you think of stopping me abo on the way, you should wake yourself up from that dream. I feel terrible for your friend. What is her name again? Nasiche. Yeah, that is her name, right? And her mama, Namazi. For some time now, I've been wondering what is between her and my teacher. Of course, they are friends, but they are evil. You do not want to know what has been done to your friend. What is that supposed to mean? Do I have your attention now? Salute. I said, what is the meaning of what you just said? Uh, uh, uh. Salute. 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 You know, one can never tell that we can end up as good friends, best friends, you know. Tukotane seko, mbele, okwazilo. I will show you. Hmm? I the name, my love. Baba, you called me. Yes, uh, sit down. I am fine standing. Asante. Okay. Akiki, I cannot deny the fact that uh, I have not noticed your attitude since you got married. Not just towards me, but also towards your wife. Akiki, you do not uh, have friends reasons best known to you but there comes a time when the heart is trouble one needs a friend and um, I... Baba, Baba I am sorry I do not mean to interrupt you but trust me when I tell you I am fine I am doing just fine lies lies Akiki you are doing just fine what about me ever since we got married you have been ignoring me. Can you just stop? I'm not making this about you for once. And think about me. Think about me. All I have ever done since we got married, and I am still doing, is for you. For me? Yes, Nasiche. How? You ask me why I haven't touched you. I will tell you. Whenever I want to touch you, all I see is your mama's face. What? What did you just say? I do not give a damn about your mama. But we are humans. I do not believe it is Unkulunkulu's will for a man to sleep with his wife's mother before taking his wife to bed. In this life, there is cause and effect. Anyhow, we see it and we must face it. I had a choice to go or to stay. But I chose to stay because I love you. Well, you should have. Rather than make me pay for a sin I did not commit. I did not choose to be born like this. I did not choose my people. I did not choose this culture. If anyone is a victim here, I am the one. Not you, Akiki. Yes, this is who we are. This is part of who we are, but does it make it any less painful? But we have come to accept it. And we are happy. We are humans. We cannot always control what happens to us. Akiki, you must put your emotions intact. You must put your emotions intact and face reality. Or you make a decision before I make one for you. Excuse me.
love you very very much and I have made my decision my love I have made up my mind to go back home away from everything let us leave everything and start all afresh just you and I what do you think I do not want it any less. But what about Baba? How will he cope without you? I think it is high time I start living my life for me. Hmm. Look, I have been away from home for a very, very long time. I have not been home since I lost my parents. Baba can always come visit him. But for now, I just want it to be just you and I. I will tell Baba about my plans by morning and start making preparations. So we'll leave it day after. Oh. If it is okay with you. I want it tomorrow, not oh. even a day after. Even now I want, but <laughs> if you say it's next after tomorrow, it's okay. You know what? What? You look so beautiful. There is something I want to whisper in your ears. Come, 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 come. I love you. do not understand why I am here because I cannot even hear what they are saying. Wait, what is she drinking? Is she sick? No, she's not. Zaluti, Zaluti, is there something you are not telling me? You brought me here to see Namazi drinking herbs. Or you just want to waste my time? Ah, but those are not ordinary herbs. They are pregnancy herbs. Pregnancy herbs? Yes. Is Namazi pregnant? Yes. Pregnant. Oh my god! Oh my god! Kunkuzo has finally done it! Ha! Ah, Kaikara will be so happy for this good news. I need to tell my friend Nasiji. That is the problem. You cannot tell your friend. You can't. Why shouldn't I? This is not something to hide. We all need to celebrate. Babu, the child Namazi is carrying does not belong to Kanka. It's for Hakiki. No. No, it, it cannot be. What are you talking about? Namazi can't be pregnant for Akiki. Jeez. What madness are you saying? He both drank from the Unguku and it has never failed, so it can't be. Speak! I will explain every time. Listen to me. This is a plan that has been going on for a long time. Okay. Before the first time, everything will happen. Before the marriage, and the marriage. Teacher and 
What is, why are you doing this? Hmm? If I had known you would react this way, I, I would not have told you anything. What have I done? Foolish me. Huh? Why, why, why? You want to put me in trouble? Why are you reacting like this? Why would Namazi do such evil to our own child? She knows the implication. That Nasiche would never give birth to a child for what she has done, yet she did it. Mm. Oh God. It's okay, just relax. How do I even tell my friend this? You shouldn't tell your friend. You shouldn't. <laughs> How will she feel if I am feeling like this? Oh. Uncle, Uncle. Please, just relax. Just calm down. Just calm down. That's what I should let you know what is going on. Please, my love, calm down. Please. Please wipe your tears. This is the last of it. I told you it's not much. Not again. That's all you for miss me, and I know for forgive you. Ah, that why I know if it happen. <laughs> Come, I have gossip for you. Bring your ears. Uh, you finally did it. Yes. When did it happen? I'm a woman now. We did it. <laughs> Day before yesterday, and yesterday, my husband is a machine. <laughs> oh my God! How was it? My husband is a man. <laughs> he is strong and is. Will you keep quiet? Can you imagine? Were you about to describe? Oh no, Baba, mm. come, Abu, please wait for your time. Wait for your time. Imagine, Go, Joe. You are always very serious. Jani. I'm fine, Baba. Um, like I told Baba, you can come visiting whenever you want. Baba, we have to get going. I do not want to arrive late. Mm. You have to start going. But both of you should remember what I told you. Do not forget. Okay? Okay, Baba. Okay, Baba. Okay, Baba. Um... Ah. Abo, don't tell me you are crying. See, Abo is crying. Ah, why are you doing this, my friend? Abo, you do not have to you cry. You don't have to cry. Huh? You make me cry. Come, come. Abo, why are you crying? You heard what I said. Look, listen, just let us know when you are coming. Hmm? Baba, we we'll have to go now. Huh? We have to go. Uh, let, let me see you children. Oh. Ah, Baba, do not bother yourself. Eh? Abu, please, oh. uh, help us with that. Abu, let's go. Hey. Abu, what is it? You are still crying. But you heard Akiki say that you can always come and visit us. And you know, my house is your house. What is it? Nasiche, my friend. You know I love you so much. And I love you too. And I will not deliberately hurt you. But I wish there was another way. What is it? 
You are not saying anything. You are just crying. What is wrong, Abo? I am sorry, but both of you cannot travel now. Why? Why? Your mama is pregnant. My mama, pregnant. And the child is not for your baba. The child is for her kiki. So according to him, she has been taking the Inkotila herbs months back. And when the teacher asked why, she opened up to her. So after much disagreement, Zoya decided to help her in her quest. And according to, to, to him, that was just after you told your mama that you are getting married to Akiki, that she seeks Zoya. Oh my God. Now I understand my mama's sudden change of attitude towards me. Salute said that that was the reason your mama told you to shift your wedding so it can enable it fall in the period of our opening oh. every week they cook new herbs for her to drink in oh. preparation for the event oh. are you sure of what you are saying abu my child this is no small allegation I was there. We all were there and saw her drink from uh, Nguku cup. The most powerful uh, herbs in the history of our community. The secret which is handed from one lineage of Kozaku clan to another. It has not failed for one. Unless, wait a minute, Zoya is from Kozak clan and she is the wisest herbalist in this community. If she is in, in the plan, which means it was not Nguku the drag. Ah. Akiki. Bruh. Give. Give memory. To test. Um, Baba. It was a little bit sugary. Ah. Namazi, what have you done? Nguki is salty. Oh. And there lies no atom of sweetness in it. It's very potent. If taken out of proportion, can kill the person. Hey. Oh. I 
do not understand. If Namazi is very desperate to have children and she can still give birth, why not Kaikara? Why use me? My Baba cannot father a child. Yes. A fact that I stumbled upon when words broke between him and his friend. A fact my mama does not even know why I am the only child. Neither does my Baba know that words fell upon my ears. A burden I have beard all this years just to cover up for my Baba. I answered a cursed child Vasayashi, all these years, and my mother, my own mama, exacts such craft of evil against me. What is my offense? What is my offense? I will go. I will go and see that words are broke and I will give you a story. Okay. Akiki, let her be. She needs to confront her mama. This is evil. How can a mother know that doing what she did will lock up the womb of her child? Still went ahead with it. Ah. Papa, what are you saying? As long as the child lives, Nasiche cannot have a child of her own, no matter how hard she tries. The deity of her land will not allow her. It is believed that Hachi is transferred to that of her mother. And it's only the death of that child that will revise it. Is it true that you are pregnant? Pregnant? Namazi, what is she talking about? I am asking you a question. Answer me, are you pregnant? Yes. What? I am pregnant. Are you? How? Namazi, what is she talking about? It was going to be a surprise. What? Love. I, I, I don't know how she got to know about it. But what is there to hide anyway? Kaikara, Nkulunkulu finally answered our prayers. I am few weeks pregnant. What? How? You have no shame. What kind of person are you? Hey! Watch it, young lady. Do not speak to me like that again. What has come over you? Have you forgotten that I'm your mother? Baba, it is time you broke what to ear. How do you mean? 
Please, Baba, do not play dumb with me. Because you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that explains why your heart is not filled with excitement. All these years, you watched me suffer. You watched this woman treat me like a slave, Baba. I was called names. I was called names, Baba. Every night I cried, you watched me and you knew that you were the curse. You were shocked. Oh, you were shocked, Baba. Why are you shocked? Oh yes, I heard you. I heard you when you told your friend that you could not father another child after me. I heard you. And you allowed me to suffer for something I know nothing about. The worst has happened. Baba, the worst has happened. The child in this woman's womb belongs to Akiki, my husband. My husband! Mamazi, tell me, everything Nasiche narrated is not true. Tell me you did not do this. Don't stand there not speaking, woman. Speak to me. Don't speak to me like that. Huh? Don't raise your voice at me. Look at you. Kaikara, you knew you were sterile, yet you did nothing about it. Yes, I got to know because Zoya that you consulted has a best friend, which is me. What you did not know was that before you became sterile, I took him. Oh, yes, I did. But they kept going. They kept flushing. Some after two weeks, the last one was after three months. Zoya did all she could to keep the baby. But I was left in the pool of my own blood. That was when I knew that something was wrong. And so I consulted the spirits and they told me that I have a cursed child who was killing my babies. So I decided to make her life a living hell. You, Nasiche. You did this to me, Vasha Yashi. I joke. How is it my fault, Mama? How? Am I God? Am I God? I never knew this. I remember you were sick. But I didn't know you were pregnant. You didn't tell me, did you? I begged you. I even appeased the gods to beg you to allow me half children. For in time past, it worked for other women who suffered the same fate. But no, mine was out to punish me. And that was why I decided to make your life a living hell. And so when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. I grabbed it. Though I did not know if it was going to work or not. But it was worth trying. And I have no regrets. Namazi. I cannot recognize the woman I married in here. You need to hear yourself. Ha! How did we even get to this place? How? I may have hidden the truth from you. But the decision is yours and not mine. How can you do this to a child? And st 
still without a remorse. Ha! Oh, oh. Ha! Now I know. Your recent and frequent request for lovemaking is for this purpose. Your plan was to make the child mine. Ah, and then come to me and convince me that it is the hand of God. Ah, Namasi, this is too much. It is too much. Mama, so you deliberately did this to me, your own child. If I am truly responsible that you could not have a child after me, how come you have a child? How come you took in? Oh, you have to Ajay. ask Ochiri why he does what he does. Baba. Huh? Ajay. Something has to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes. She can't keep this child. Of, of course, of course. You have to remove it. You must remove it. Remove what? The pregnancy. Over my dead body will I remove this child. I will not remove this child. I will keep it. Not after all that I have been through. No. I will not remove this child. Nonsense. Nkulu, <laughs> nkulu. In my lifetime, I've never seen a thing like this before. I mean, where do I start from? Yes, I know it's our belief that some children like to be born alone. No matter how hard you try, they will not let another come. But to think that a mother will go this far, ha! Ah. Chief Kezu. Stop beating about the bush. This child has to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. If she had cheated on her husband with another man, that wouldn't have been okay. But it makes sense that to target your daughter's husband. No. No. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Because you and Zoya are friends, you decided to do what you wanted. I will only say this once for your sake. And as the head of this community, Namaz, you must remove that child. So that Nasiche can go on with her life. And I... You I want me to remove this child, my baby. <laughs> ah! Hello, baby. Imagine this man here wants me to kill you even before your feet touches the earth. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. If you like, involve Zakunja in Miami. Nothing can be done about this, my baby. You cannot do anything about it because I will do everything possible. I mean absolutely anything to keep my child. You lie, Mama. If there's anyone who will have a child for my husband, it is me and not you. You evil old witch. Do not call me that. Else I will deal with you, stupid girl. What will you do that you have not already done, Mama? What else can you do that you have not already done? You should be ashamed of yourself. 
I will rather be ashamed to be called a mother than to be one a faith that awaits you. Rubbish. You just sat down there and said nothing. Are you okay with what my mama has done? Do you want to be the father of her child? Excuse you. What is that supposed to mean? What do you want me to do about it? You are asking me. Akiki, you are asking me what you are supposed to do about it. Yes. If anyone is to be blamed, then blame it on your culture and not on me. Because if there is no culture as a man sleeping with his wife's mother, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I know your mama is purely evil, but we cannot blame it on an innocent child. Look, I am very sorry. I cannot support killing the child. What? Akiki, do you even know what you're saying? That I will not have a child? That we will not have children together? How can you believe this, me love? How can you believe this? Because it is true. Do not toil with our ancestral spirits. Is it also true when your mama said that the spirit said that you are cursed? I do not believe anything my mama says. But that is not even the matter. The matter here is that that child in her womb. My love, that is why I want you to help me pressurize her to remove that child. I don't even understand. Why? Why should my mama have a child for you? What is happening here? What kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? Me love. Me love. Me I have love. never had a normal life. Maybe she's right, actually. Maybe it's true. Me love. Me love. She's right. Me I have cursed. I have cursed. Love. love, no, no, no. Please come. I have cursed. Come, 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 don't do this. Come on. Come on. My love. Do not give room to such thoughts. Okay. I wish I knew what to say. But you know your mama. She's a very stubborn woman. And to think of it that she went this far just because she wants to get pregnant. I do not think she will give ear to reason. That is why I want to suggest. That you come with me, let us live here and start life all afresh again, like we earlier planned. Please. It is easy for you to say. <laughs> Upon a day will come, you will leave me into the arms of another woman. When reality hits you in the face, that you will live with me without a hair. I am not ready to face that kind of But I make you a promise. I don't know when or how, but surely my mama will pay for this that she has done. I don't want to be a teacher to a student that dishonor me. This honor? I dishonor you, you say? Yes. What honor is there in what you have done to the life of an innocent girl? A girl that have done nothing to you. 
Zoya, look around you. Look around you and tell me what you see. Um, silence, emptiness, nothingness, no husband, no child, no loved one, nothing. And you tell me about honor. Why won't you destroy the life of another? Ah. Leave! I will go. Your heart is dark. You are wicked. Very wicked. Someone has done nothing to you. But thank you for saving me the wrath of the gods by throwing me out when they come knocking. I promise you they will come. Till we meet again. Leave! Your heart is black. Leave! 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 Sorry for keeping you waiting. I had errands to run. It is okay. Ujani. I do not know what to say. Her condition grows worse by the day. Sometimes she can go for the whole day without even eating. All the time she's just staring into an empty space without saying anything. But what troubles me the most is it seems like your culture has made provision for almost everything. So what are they doing about Namazi's betrayer? You said it is the duty of, what did you even call them again? Zankuja Imiami. Yes, that they punish lawbreakers. So why have they not punished Namazi for what she has done? Akiki, I understand how you feel. But come to think of it, drinking from the Unguku was a way of preventing her from taking in. But who would have imagined that a mother could do to her child what Namazi has done? A case is for the gods to handle. For Zankuja Imiami cannot intervene in a crime of blood of mother and child. Oh, poor Nasiche. The last time that I saw her, her condition was very, very bad. See, Akiki, this is the time that she needs you the most. For what your wife is going through, none of us can truly understand. For the betrayer is a betrayer of blood. We can only give her time, only time. But do not worry. I will be coming more often, okay? <laughs> okay. But, but if only, if only, if only she had accepted to live with me when I asked her to. We would have left this village a long time ago, but she refused. Thank you, thank you, Abo. I really do appreciate your, fear, your friendship. It's okay. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Okay?
बाबा वेज एवरी वन रन Why is this one so bitter? As the week progresses, so the house changes. You know we have to be careful so what happened in the past will not repeat itself. We have to pray that this one stays to the very end. That is why I want you to take the house accordingly. God mm? forbid. That is why I carry myself so gently. Ah, Zoya, my friend, I cannot thank you enough for what you have done for me. You are truly a friend. You are welcome. I cannot but notice your changing mood. What is the problem? Are you not regretting what you and I have done? Regrets? Far from it. I have no regrets at all. Don't worry. The baby will soon come and everybody will forget what happened. The arrival of a new child fills the air with peace. I wanted to prepare your mind for my delivery. Do not grow cold on me, my friend, because I need you. Did you hear what I said? Zoya? You heard what I said? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Always doing this. Look, if you have something you want to say to your mama, go and meet her and tell her that. Then come in here and just stand in here and staring at her. What is wrong with you? I am very sorry the way I raised my voice at you. I do not mean it. Please, let us go home. Please, my love. Let us go. Please. Let us go. Let us go. Thank you. Uh, I have to take my leave now. What honor is there in what you have done to the life of an innocent girl? A girl that has done nothing to you. Zoya, look around you. Look around you and tell me what you see. Eh? Silence, emptiness, nothingness, no husband, no child, no loved one, nothing. And you tell me about honor. Why won't you destroy the life of another? I will go. Your heart is dark, you are wicked. Very wicked. Someone has done nothing to you. But thank you for saving me the wrath of the gods by throwing me out when they come knocking. I promise you they will come till we meet again.
How is she feeling now? Baba, she is sleeping. Baba, do you know what scares me most? I do not know what breaks in her heart. I do not know what she's thinking. Today she just stood there watching her mama, who I think may give birth very soon. Baba, this is the fourth time she's doing this. I do not think it is wise, leaving her all by herself at home. Ah. Poor child. Mm. Baba, out of curiosity, what will happen when this child is born? Whose name would the child bear? Sadly yours. Um, if she's it's close to giving birth, as you say, then you get ready to carry out the Nkufu rights. The right of child birth for the child. Papa. Does Nasiche know about this? Everyone does. So this is unbelievable. This is so sad. Do you see how one wrong decision has affected so many? <sighs> Baba. I need to rest my head now. X. You also need to rest. Kindly sit down. Thank you. Oh. Abba. My child. Abba. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. I know I have failed you as a father. I did not protect you when I should. Please put the blame on me. Hmm? My heart is heavy. I have become a shadow of myself. <laughs> a shadow of myself, Baba. It is okay, my love. It is okay. <laughs> I may not feel the exact pain that you feel inside. But, my child, I beg of you. Huh? You need to listen to your husband and leave this village. Baba, are you asking me to run away? No. Are you saying I have to run away? No. No, my child. Huh? I want you to leave. I want you to be happy with your husband, the man that you love. Huh? Baba, oh. emptiness lies in my world. That which makes me a woman has been taken away from me. He can go by himself. Me love. Don't you understand? 
There is no life outside of you. There is no life. Don't you follow your husband? Please. Follow your husband. Go with him. My child, the pain we only get to us seeing the child comes forth. <laughs> please, please. I'm glad you're here, my dear friend. I am not going anywhere, Nasiche. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed, life has a mind of its own. It does whatever it wants to do. We are nothing but pawn in her game. A game I will see to put an end to. Give meaning to words, my friend. Hmm. My dear friend, life does not give you what you deserve. But you have to take what you deserve from life. Abu, my friend, when the rain falls, do not wet yourself in the rain for too long, lest you catch a fever and break my heart. You are the one and only true friend that I have. My one and only true friend. It appears your meeting with Abu is profitable. What crime is it of mine that I prepare my husband's favorite meal? Mm. Then in that case, may this day never end. That I will always eat such wonderful food from you. Eat your food is getting cold. Are you not joining me? You know it troubles my stomach whenever I eat this. Or have you forgotten? Ah, I remember. In that case, watch me eat. Mm. This is nice. Very nice. It pleases my heart that you love it. I do. Mm. My love. Mm? Will you miss me when I am no more? When you are no more, what journey do you hold at heart that you intend leaving me behind? The one that shatters heart. I love you. I love you so much, my love. That's it, Jay. What is going on? Why you put an end to joyous moments? Is feeling heavy. Do you do you feel sleepy? Ah. 
What is going on? Why do I suddenly... Why am I suddenly feeling weak? I cannot... I cannot feel my... I cannot feel myself. I'm sorry, my love. That's it, Jay. What have you done to me? I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry. That's it, Jay. I'm sorry that I put pain to heart, but it has to be done today. It has to be done. I will see scale balance and put peace to heart. Take care. No. Take care. No. Take care. Please. Take care. Please. We will meet again. Until I see you. No. Again. Until I see you. Masiche, what are you doing here? And why is Zoya not here? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama, but Zoya is not coming. It's just you and I. What need is it to hide thyself? Make thy presence known. Nasichi, I've been expecting you. I am not surprised. The great Zoya of our time. Your skill in herbs is like none ever before. Some persons blaspheme and they equate you with gods. Hmm. Gods in human form. Great Zoya, the one who gave up her family just to dedicate herself to her craft. You know I keep I can keep going on and on. You know, I do not want to believe you came all the way to pour praises on me. <laughs> Give voice to him then. I'm just wondering what my mama did or said to convince you to do what you did to me. Great Zoya, tell me, what was your wage? Was it worth it? How do you? Great Zoya, sleep at night, knowing what you have done. Please help me. Explain it to me. 
make it make sense. I do not know why I did what I did to you, Nasiji. Yes, thought wage upon heart ever since then. I've never seen the anger that lies in the heart of thy mama towards you. Hmm. She almost gave her life when she lost the last pregnancy. And that is my fault. Really? Believe it or not, what we believe is that the spirit never lies. The will of some children are hard to break. <laughs> and the will is broken, hence she's pregnant. Is it? One cannot completely know the will of the spirit except the one is being revealed to us. Ponder why you are still alive, why others are no more. I should have said no, but we took it too far. A cute that haunts me, but my word holds me no bound. How do you mean? Thy mama and I are childhood friends. She helped me while we grow. My heart feels bound to hers. What she brought to memory when she came to ask me for help. She left me with no choice. I tried to convince her otherwise. Still, it's obvious her mind was made up. And so you do her bidding, great Zoya. You now did her bidding. Masiche, if I can turn the hands of time, I will. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Great Zoya. Great Zoya of our time. What is this? This are delivery herbs you plucked, isn't it? Yes, they are. How do you know? You will be so shocked what the heart is capable of when it is broken. Great Zoya. And I presume it is for my mama, eh? isn't it? Eh? You are shocked. The great Zoya is shocked. <laughs> when does she expect them? Masiche. Please, whatever you want to do, kindly take me off. <laughs> it is too late, Zoya. For when the clouds is filled with rain, it must fall. Now I ask you one more time. When does she expect the herbs? Today. Please, please consider your actions. You feel you have wronged me, isn't it? Now you must do everything that I ask you to do. No one is coming to rescue you. You and I know that Baba cannot step foot into this hut until the midwives say otherwise. So tell me, Mama, what is it going to be? What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? What do you think I want? Ah, what are you doing with that? Put that thing away. Please, do, do not come close to me. So you think that I will sit down and watch you have this abomination of a child oh after all you have done to me? You destroyed my life. You took my home. The only time it occurred to me to get married was because I needed to be far away from you. But you found a way to haunt me.
for months I have kept my eyes on you watching you hoping to see just any form of remorse but no you rather carried yourself with so much pride mama I should sit and watch my own mama carry the child of my husband in her womb a life that should be mine Masiche don't you call my name don't ever call my name Masiche 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 Akiki, stand up. What happened? Please sit down. I actually came down here just because I, I wasn't comfortable with the words that she told me when we met. But on reaching here, I met you on the floor. What happened? I don't know. I remember. I remember I was. I was. I was. I was eating. And suddenly I started feeling like I want. I want my eyes were heavy. I could even barely hear her. She. She made mention of, she asked me if I will, if I will miss her, that she wants to, she wants to go, is she go, that she wants to go on the journey of, I can't. She asked you that? Yes. Abu, my friend, when the rain falls, do not wet yourself in the rain for too long, lest you catch a fever and break my heart. You are the one and only true friend that I have. My one and only true friend. What is it? I think I know where she has gone to. We need to get to Namaze now. We need to go. We need to go. Let's go. So what am I supposed to call this child? Half brother. Stepson. Did you even consider Baba before betraying him? You hate me so much that it did not even occur. What do you want? I want you to say sorry. What do you want? Say you are sorry. For once, Mama, admit what you have done and seek my forgiveness. Look me in the eyes and tell me that you wish things did not end up this way. And I will walk away. <sighs> you want me to apologize for what I have done? Yes. I am sorry. I am sorry for everything. I am also sorry that I did not kill you when you were a child. What? Look at you. When my children were killed, taken away because of you. I should have snapped your neck, Master Che, and watch your eyes pop out. Yes, such pleasure you should have given me. But no, I let you live. And now, 
you have the boldness, the audacity to ask me to beg for your forgiveness, Nasiche. Never, never will I ask for your forgiveness. Not in this life and not in the life to come. You took away my children. You took away my dream, Nasiche. I will see favor repaired in full that the seed of your husband flourish in my grass before your very eyes. Vasha Yashi. My child, my child, my child. It's me to do. You will make Arami for me. Hmm? Arami? Please, Nasiche. I know I have hurt you. Please, I am sorry. I will not and will never make Arami. I don't want to cause further damage. It is too late to feel sorry. I have nothing to lose if I kill you right here, right now. Even the ancestors will praise me because so much evil has been done to me. Yes. Please, Nasiche, think about your action. Actions, Zoya. Actions you did not put to thought while you aided my mama. Now listen to me carefully. Okay. You will go into your house and you make that Arami for me. Mm -hmm. Did I make myself clear? Or oh, I will kill you. Also, you must inform me when my mama is in labor. And I do not want to see you anywhere there. Or oh, I will kill you! Now move. Move!
Kiki. Kiki. What a view. Thank <laughs> you. 